Hi, it's Ed Butowski. Today is June 18th. So in our industry, the investment services industry, we, we live and breathe sometimes by these quilt charts. Um, it's called a quilt chart because it often looks like a quilt. Um, for those of you who have never seen these, let me just explain what it is. On the top are the best performing sectors that year. And then over to the right, I, I didn't make this line thick enough, is what's happened this year. And so you can see in 2013, uh, the best performing asset class was small cap equity, then large cap equity, and, and so on. And the reason I wanted to point this out to you and go through this chart briefly is that an alarm doesn't go off when it's time to switch into a certain sector. And an alarm doesn't go off when we realize that we have a pandemic on our hands. And an alarm doesn't go off when we invade a country or something happens. So if you're listening for an alarm to go off to tell you when to switch, it doesn't happen. And this is one of the key underlying reasons why we manage money where we always have investments that can do well during economic conditions. Okay, actually we didn't plan perfectly for the pandemic, just so you know, to be fully disclosed. But we did pretty well. And this is why you don't just look at equities and you don't just look at bonds and you don't just look at emerging markets. This is why as you study this, you'll understand that you must always have assets that can go up when others don't. And if you do that, here's the key line, you will always have some assets that aren't performing well. So a properly managed portfolio should always have some investments that aren't doing well. Otherwise, you're making bets on certain sectors, and that's not what you want to be doing. So you, and then now are there other investments besides these? Yes, I'm just showing you uh, some of the most popular ones. But hold on, I'm going to show you one other quilt chart. But let me just make sure this point's very well taken. This is why you must always have assets that aren't doing well in your portfolio because when an economic condition changes, a bell's not going to go off. And as a result of that, the market is usually six to nine months ahead. You might not be able to participate in the market or the part of the market that's doing well or that sector. So it's a tough way to manage money, but you know, that's why I have so much gray hair because I know that we should always have some investments that are underperforming. It's not a goal, but it's the way you manage money properly. Let me show you this one other sector or part of the market. Now, let me start off with, I'm not making recommendations. I'm just pointing out that even in certain categories of investing, and, we, and this is the quilt chart for hedge funds, and it's put together by a great guy named Donna McDonough. I, I think that's one of the best names I've ever heard. But he puts together this to show that even inside the hedge fund world, when people say, well, hedge funds don't work or hedge funds, you know, didn't do this or they did this, there's even different sectors here. I'm going to try to blow this up a little bit. So you can see that global macro did fantastic in 2010, but short bias didn't. Okay. But you can see that within a certain category, just like saying mutual funds are not an asset class, mutual funds are how you gain entry to a certain asset class. Same thing with hedge funds. Managed futures, just so you know, historically has done very well when the equity markets in the US do poorly. There's a, if you want a, a study, I can send it to you. You can just contact me and I'll show it to you. It's easy to read. But when you have big drawdowns in the equity markets, historically, I'm saying that for the lawyers, historically, Managed Futures does very well. And you can see that throughout this year, uh, 2020, year to date, how these different sectors have done. Again, I'm not promoting this. I'm just showing you that just in one asset, not asset, but one part of the market of investing, there's great disparity. Okay, And inside each one of these, there's great disparity. I have a friend of mine uh, who has a Latin American uh, hedge fund. Okay, I don't have any money with him, but this particular year, 2017, he was up 50%. But the category of hedge funds in emerging markets was up 16.8. Okay, So I just wanted to share some of this with you and have you think about that there's a lot more to the world than just the equity markets. And uh, take care. Any questions, give me a call. All right. And for those of you who are clients of mine, um, you know, 
please, you know, a lot of you, we've talked about these before. For those of you who aren't clients, as I always say, I have no idea why you're not. Uh, and feel free to give me a call. Take care. Bye.